We found him. Abhimanyu, <laughs> <laughs> welcome back to the studio. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Those results did go your way, and you are the 2023 Junior Chess Champion. How are you feeling right now? Feels amazing. I'm going to have a chance to play against all the greats of the game. Fabiano, Wesley, Hikaru. Feels, it, it's, it's an amazing feeling. <laughs> How important is that ticket to the U.S. Championship? Because we were talking about it. It's so difficult to make it based on the rating. Right now, the U.S. Championship, you have to be around 2,700 to even hope that you're going to make it. How important it is for you to meet those greats of the game? It, it was very important. That was the main purpose of coming here. Like, this tournament is very strong in itself, but I, I came here to win this tournament, to play in that U.S. Championship. And you've said this at the beginning. There is no other place that matters. It's first place or nothing. Mm -hmm. And you prove that from the beginning to the end through your fighting spirit. What would you say are things that you're happy with after this event based on your play and things that you could improve in order to uh, meet those grades in good shape? Sure. One thing I need to do is start playing more openings for sure. Like <laughs> half of like two games, like for example, against Brandon and uh, Jason, they were just draws out of the opening. Mm -hmm. So I need to diversify my openings. And also I feel that some games like randomly, like for example, my games against Kirk or my, Kirk, my, games, against, my games against Kirk or Josiah, like these randomly I have these sort of off days where I just play absolutely terrible chess. But what is your main attribute that you're happy with living this tournament? There I must guess, be at least one. I guess it's <laughs> just not, even in terrible positions, like in both of the games against Kirk and Josiah, I was playing terribly. I had dead loss positions, and even then I managed to hold them. So I guess it's my, my ability to, to defend here. Mm -hmm. And I guess, yeah, that's the, that's the thing that made all the difference in the end. I have, uh, compared to all the other competitors, I haven't lost a single game. Resilience is absolutely key, especially when uh, later in October when you will be facing uh, the players at the U.S. Championships. Abimani, congratulations. Just an inspiring performance. Guys, any questions for our champion? I will just echo our congratulations as well, Misha. Uh, well done. Well done. Bravo. Yeah, congratulations very much. I do have one quick question, and that is uh, for the U.S. Championship that you qualified. How are you going to prepare? Are you going to mostly study like openings that you're going to play against your opponent? Or do you want to maybe get more tournaments so you are um, you know, not rusty when you are entering that competition? Yeah, as of now, I have another couple tournaments lined up. Like As of now, another five days, I'll be coming back here for Summer Chess Classic right. against all like 2,600 plus opposition. After that, I'm going to play in Spain. I, there's some like, Spanish leagues. So yeah, I have, a, I have another couple tournaments before uh, the U.S. Championship. Do you ever take breaks from chess? <laughs> like, are you going to take like a few days off to celebrate, to, to kind of recharge, not do chess, or do you do chess nonstop? Yeah, probably I'll take some break after like another two, three days, and then I'll go back to preparing for the next event. <laughs> well, congratulations. Really fantastic accomplishment. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Very well done. As, 